So I'm finally ready to go and get our hay tether. I'm hoping it'll fit in our trailer. Um, I just got a weather report that it is, we're, we have a risk of severe thunderstorms in the area. Um, now if you've ever hayed before and it rains on top of the hay, that obviously causes some complications. Um, luckily this isn't our entire field of hay, but I do need to watch for certain things. So what I'm probably going to do is put up a different video uh, just talking about what happens when it rains on the hay after it has, um, after you've cut it, uh, what implications there are and what you should do to prepare for that hay. You never want it to rain when you're haying, but with the way the weather has been lately, it's just kind of wacky. You know, I checked the, the, the weather reports before I did this. Um, it wasn't supposed to rain until Sunday, which gave me all day today and all day tomorrow to dry it and get it up, uh, which would have been uh, enough time, but that's not how it's turning out. Um, they are small rain clouds, so I'm hoping that they either miss us or we don't get a very hard rain, and I'll explain to you why that's important uh, in the video I post up there. So in the tractor here, we have a New Holland hay tether. It's a pretty good sized one. This is the kind that converts between hay tether and uh, windrow rake, but uh, I don't think the conversion works anymore, so it's just pretty much a hay tether. They put it in this trailer at the dealership, and their last words to me were, can you get it out? I got a home, but I don't know how I'm gonna get it out. But I do believe that if there is a will, there's a way. This is gonna be really fun. This is probably not the wisest idea in the world. So I don't suggest anybody try this at home. I've got to be very, very careful of the sounds of this branch of this tree. If it sounds like it's coming off, I need to clear in that direction as quickly as I possibly can. And I risk switching the equipment, but this is the only method I have really to get this thing off. I can clear the trailer enough. I will be able to drive the trailer out from underneath this. And then it will just come up underneath the tree. things now. Where if I just slide the left on one side it'll come up. Leg. There's an 
issue. Can't quite get the leg off. So I might try and pull it to see what happens. I just slide that on out and drop it. I think it's important to realize and remember that sometimes when you're watching YouTube channels and YouTubers that not everything that we do is safe or smart. That was neither of the two and I knew it as I did it and I am in no way recommending that anybody get a heavy implement off of a trailer by using a tree branch. I actually tried two different tree branches because the first tree branch that I tried began cracking. And then to make matters worse, I had to crawl on top of the tree branch to <laughs> release the, uh, the come along. What I wanted to show on our channel is just the types of things that we have to do on a daily basis to operate a farm like this and, and what it's like when you don't have the right tools and how dangerous it can be. It's not to encourage you to go out and do what I just did because that would not be smart. By all means, try everything you can to not put yourself in the position that I was just in. I had to get that off the trailer today. We've got hay on the field. I need to tether it. Um, I didn't have a choice. I had to get that off the trailer. I couldn't wait for the right equipment to get here. And I, well, I guess I could always let the hay go to waste. But that is the reality sometimes of operating a farm is, is sometimes we do do things or we are forced to do, take creativity into our own hands. It's not always wise. Now, when I did that, uh, I was testing the branch before it went up. I was listening to it the entire time I was on my toes ready to jump off or go in the other direction and I think that I would have had time to do that uh, but that doesn't mean I would have gotten away without getting hurt or damaging the equipment. Our channel, I, you know, I've stopped kind of doing how-to videos and just more or less create project videos showing what we're doing and part of that is for that reason. I don't want people watching me to necessarily learn how to do something, but um, they can definitely get ideas. I always share, you know, my problem solving with viewers and, uh, and walk people through it, but uh, in no way am I showing you how to do something. 
this video I just I figured I would film it just for the purposes of being able to say this on camera otherwise this is not something I would normally film and show you guys because it's not a very wise thing to do it is what I did it worked thankfully nobody was injured no equipment was broken my plan was executed and now I can come by with the tractor hook up to the three-point and move this uh, in the correct fashion but yeah I just want to make sure that you guys know that when you're watching YouTube it, you know and somebody does something that does not mean it's safe I do know this tree pretty well I was willing to take a risk on it because I know its health but if this tree were weaker or if a recent storm had weakened the branches that could have been very dangerous so it's not definitely not something that uh, you should try at home hopefully it was a little entertaining for you and you kind of get the point everything that you see on YouTube is not necessarily safe it's not necessarily the way that you should be doing it most of the people that are doing it are not going to stop their video like i am and say hey don't do this at home just be cautious and careful out there when you're looking for ideas or you want to try something uh, think it through uh, obviously if you thought this one through i thought it through before i did it it's not very safe uh, first thing shauna said to me was you're going to break a branch nonetheless the guy underneath the branch or on top of the branch but uh, I didn't break a branch, <laughs> I selected wisely, but I will never do that again. That was not fun. It was very tormenting, agonizing. The entire time I thought I was gonna die, really, honestly.